What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp tutorial for you today. Um, so uh, tomorrow's Christmas and so we're gonna go with another uh, Christmas theme tutorial. So in this one we're gonna create a Christmas ornament. So let's go ahead and just kind of dive into it. So uh, I know I've made a, a video in the past showing you how to create a, a sphere in SketchUp. So we're going to do the same kind of thing. Um, we're going to lead off and we're just going to create a circle right here. I'm using a circle tool. And then you're going to create another circle. And you can uh, lock it to an axis with the circle tool active by tapping that right arrow key on your keyboard. But go ahead and activate that tool. Uh, tap that right arrow key. And then uh, draw a circle that's slightly bigger than this circle, the first circle that you drew. Um, then come in here and select this um, perimeter of the circle. You're going to use that as our path for the Follow Me tool. Then come in here and click the Follow Me tool and click on your face. So that creates, that extrudes our circle around the smaller uh, circle's path to create this sphere. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use hidden geometry to break this circle up into a couple different sections. So to do that, go up to View, and click Hidden Geometry. And what that'll do is that'll, uh, that'll pop up the geometry that SketchUp doesn't show you by default. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a line and we're just going to draw it along all the way from the top to the bottom along the hidden geometry on one face. So just draw this line all the way down to the bottom like this. And then when you do that, if you turn hidden geometry back off like this, what that'll do is that'll uh, you'll now have a line splitting half of your circle just like this. So we're going to do that and then what you're going to do is you're going to come in here actually while you have hidden geometry off you're going to come in here and select this line like this um, so turn hidden geometry off drag a box around this line and hidden geometry out being off is important because uh, otherwise you'll select some hidden geometry in here so turn that off select this line all right so what we're going to do is we're going to take this line and we're going to copy it four segments over just like this but before you do that it's a good idea to come in here and save your model um, because SketchUp can get a little funky with curved surfaces and stuff like that um, this already crashed once on me uh, making this so this already crashed once on me making this so just come in here and uh, make sure you click that save button before you do this so that you don't lose all your work but then just come in here and we're going to use the rotate tool to create this copy and so we're going to use copy mode to copy this four segments over and this is assuming that the circle you extruded to create your sphere had 24 segments in it um, so what that's going to do is that's going to break this up into should be six different pieces so you'll have one two three four five six so we're basically creating one face in our sphere right here that we can come in and we can draw on and then we're going to go ahead and turn off hidden geometry and then you see how this is its own face just like this that's what we want so we're actually going to come in here and we're going to delete out the rest of our sphere so you see how that got rid of everything you've just got this one section right here so we're going to go ahead and just have this one section and what we're going to do is we're going to use this one section to create a component and then uh, we'll copy it back around six times so that we have a complete sphere but this just makes it easier so we just have to model one of these instead of having to model all of them so come in here and with hidden geometry on we're gonna come in here and we're going to draw a design on this face and I mean you can really draw whatever design you want I'm drawing one with just kinda of some repeating diamonds in here that we can then come back and we can color so just come in here and just use hidden geometry to do this and remember that the reason this works is because the hidden geometry shows the flat geometry in here um, between the hidden points so because of that you can draw lines between the between the edges on the hidden geometry just like this and it'll work great so come in here and we'll do that and actually you probably could break this up into even smaller 
you could probably break this up into even smaller slices of your model if you wanted to so instead of me coming in here and doing this twice I could just do it once um, I want to go ahead and do it this way just because we're going to use the nature of the components for the uh, top of the model a little bit later but again I mean this is just kind of a basis that you can use to be creative and come in here and do do your own thing so whatever it is that whatever it is that you want to make this look like you can come in here and get creative with this I mean you can come in here with like a multiple offset type thing or really whatever you want to do but so now I've got all these diamonds in here I can come in here and turn hidden geometry off and you can see that each one of these has its own face and so what you can do is you can come in here and you can color these just like this since they're their own faces so you've got this colored you can also come in here and pick a nice pick a nice Christmas green like this so you can paint all these different faces so they kinda so that this has a nice Christmas feel to it and then once you've done that you can come in here and just select it so drag a box around the whole thing make sure you didn't select anything in that circle but you can come in here you can select it you can right click and say make component and you can just call this ornament slice or whatever it is you want to call that but since it's a component remember every copy of this that we make all the other copies are going to change as well so come in here and we're going to use the rotate tool and again you're going to want to lock this to your blue axis using your keyboard but just come in here and just use copy mode so click once to set a base point and then tap the control key to activate copy mode and then uh, just rotate this right here and then type in times five and what that's going to do is that's going to create five different versions of this face all the way around the circle so see how you have this perfect sphere again alright so now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to model the uh, top up here that, like the little hook would come off of and uh, the way we're going to do this is uh, it's actually kind of interesting so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the nature of the six components that we have around here in order to do this and so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come in here and we're going to use the circle tool to draw a circle around the shape like this and you see what that does when you draw a circle around the shape is it draws six different shapes and it creates this kind of cool lattice work up here um, and it's a very important when you do this um, start with your start with your mouse on the top point right here but do not draw it along this face in the component that you're actually in because if you draw it in this component it's gonna merge with the faces right here and it's gonna mess everything up but if you draw a circle that goes along one of these faces um, it won't be flat on this piece and the faces won't merge and everything works great so all you're gonna do is you're just gonna activate the circle tool and come in here over this point and then uh, just kind of draw a circle that goes along one of these faces that isn't in the active group that you're in so whichever one of those you want to go to just kind of come about halfway or so down one of these lines and go ahead and draw a circle and as you can see what that's going to do is that actually draws a circle inside the component that you're in but because we're in a component it also draws that same circle in the five other components in your model so it creates this kind of like cool like spiraling lattice type top thing right here um, so that's kind of what we want and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna drag a box around this face and use the scale tool to scale it up so that it's taller kind of like this so and you can scale that as tall as you want or as short as you want and you can see that that just kind of sits on top of your ornament just like this and uh, you can come in here and you can use the push pull tool to uh, extrude it and give it a little bit of a uh, depth if you want to so I think that makes it look a little bit cooler but now you've got this cool Christmas ornament shape in here with this cool uh, with this cool top piece on it and then you can come in here after the fact and uh, create some um, and go ahead and color this in so use whatever color you want and you can you can triple click on this to select all of the faces in here and then you can just uh, paint everything once 
anyway I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you did uh, please take a second and click that like button down below I'd really appreciate it and um, in addition if you're new around here you like SketchUp tutorials I'm coming out with new stuff every week so uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button and uh, finally leave a comment below let me know what you thought um, you know if there's a different way that you would have done this or something that you would have liked to have seen you know I'm really open to feedback and I just love having conversations with you guys about SketchUp so uh, in any case I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching this video I hope uh, you guys have a great Christmas season and um, I'll still be rolling out videos over Christmas so um, make sure you come back and check those out and uh, once again thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll catch you in the next video